beloved in Christ, we've been talking about uh, making your calling and election sure and how important that is. That we make sure that we are following Christ in a personal way. Yes, we are part of, of the body of Christ. But there is a personal calling upon every one of our lives who say they are, uh, are Christians. Amen? Look what the Word of God says in Matthew, the 22nd chapter, and the 14th verse. It reads, For many are called, but few are chosen. Let me say it again. For many are called, but few are chosen are chosen. Jesus, beloved, confirms this twice, that many are called, but only a few are chosen. Now, some Christians will say that this is in comparison to the whole of the world population. They will say the world's population is what Jesus is talking about. That there are many that are called, but only a few are chosen out of the world. But rather, beloved, that isn't so. Jesus is talking directly to the church. Because we saw where Peter was writing directly to the church. And he was writing not only to the church, in the midst of the church, but those who were professing Christians. Peter was writing that to uh, believers who said they were believers. And Peter was calling out to them to make their calling and election sure. So, dearly beloved, we have to understand this. That it's not our choice to choose Jesus, but it is God's choice to draw us to Jesus, that we might make a choice for Jesus. And that's how, beloved, we can be sure of our calling. We can be sure that we have been born into the kingdom of God, which is so very important, because Satan in these latter days, are mixing things together, creating his own spiritual gumbo. And you find many professing Christians following uh, different kind of uh, 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 theology, different kinds of, uh, uh, of political uh, nuances, and they're following with a death grip on what they are following and not recognizing if this is of Christ or not. Beloved, anyone who say they are a Christian or say that they are born again, they will act, they will portray Christ in the Bible. They will be humble like Christ was. They'll be willing to give of themselves like Christ did. They will be willing to walk that road that Christ walked. You know, the disciples said to him one day, we'll follow you wherever you go. And whatever you do, will follow you. But beloved, was it not them and Peter who denied the Lord? That they ever really even knew him. But beloved, when you are born again into the kingdom of God, God by his spirit reveals to you that you are a child of God. You don't have to make yourself a child of God. 
you're born into the kingdom of God. It's just like a child who is in their mother's womb. They're not making any choices to come to this earth. They're not making any choices to, uh, 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 with a mature mind, uh, to say, well, I want to be born into this wild and crazy world. No, beloved. It is beyond a choice of theirs. But there's a choice of two people, a male and a female coming together to create that individual or to begin life and then God takes it from that part on and beloved that's how we are born into the kingdom of God and when we're born into the kingdom of God beloved there is no doubt who our father is so beloved as the Word of God says, make your calling and election sure. But few, but many are called, but few are actually chosen. Beloved, if you've been born again, you have been chosen. And Satan wants to take that away from you. So when the question says uh, about uh, there will be a great falling away, that simply means that which is not real, that which just profess themselves to be Christians, will fall away in the latter times. And beloved, you have to make sure that you are not one of them. Amen. Be blessed in Jesus' name.